Better go to war with any challenge of battle and kind of see us people trying for me to finish your remnants and other legends that left remarkable legacy. What's going on, guys? Cam Green Fitness here. And if you're new to the channel, make sure I hit that subscribe button and make sure you leave this video with a like. So, today's video is going to be all about the conventional versus sumo deadlift. There's been a lot of controversy about the sumo deadlift potentially being cheating, but I think there's a place for the conventional and the sumo deadlift in different training programs. So essentially the main difference between the conventional and the sumo deadlift is that the conventional you keep your legs more or less shoulder width apart but the sumo deadlift you actually spread your legs a little bit further. And the sumo deadlift has been made popular recently especially by Gymshark athletes. Um, David Laid is a massive advocate of it just because he can lift so much heavier. When the sumo deadlift first came on the scene it was like a 19 year old lifting something ridiculous like 200 kilos, 300 kilos. So I think the main difference is what body part you want to focus on during your training program. So I'm a massive advocate of the sumo deadlift because of the activation of the VMO and it puts more tension on your quads than actually on your back. Um, whereas a lot of people like to include the conventional deadlift either in the back training program or in the leg training program just because it puts a lot more strain on your traps, a lot more strain on your lower back. So there were an interesting study published by Eskimiller et al in 2002 and actually shows the difference between EMG activity between the conventional and the sumo deadlift. It showed that the sumo deadlift actually increased the EMG and muscle activation in the quads in comparison to the conventional deadlift. And that's one of the reasons that I incorporate the sumo deadlift into my leg day training program so that increased width of your legs actually puts a lot more activation on your VMO which is a teardrop muscle on the inside of your knee. And I also feel that the sumo deadlift is just a more comfortable movement to me. However, in the study mentioned, the only increased muscle activity for the conventional in comparison to the sumo deadlift was actually in the gastrocnemius or in a section of your calf. So even though a lot of people in the fitness world class the sumo deadlift as cheating, there's actually specific reasons why I incorporate it into my program. But I do think that the sumo deadlift is a lot harder to perfect in terms of technique. So I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to film a bit of my leg workout and I'm going to film some of my deadlifts for you. And I've also got a brand new pre-workout and a lot of you might have heard of it, it's the Jack 3D. Um, finally managed to get a hold of it, so we're going to give that a try. So for those of you that don't know, this is Jack's 3D. It's an all pre-workout that I actually got banned a while ago because it contains something called dihydroxynamic acid. And it literally got banned just because of how strong the pre-workout actually is. It was keeping people up all night, it was sending them mad. Yeah, I haven't really used it before, but I'll give it a try. And then I'm gonna get to the gym and film the leg workout. So I'll always start my deadlift training with the conventional deadlift. Use it with light weights just to warm up my back and my legs. Uh, as you can see the stance is shoulder width apart with hands just on the outside of your knees. You need to focus on keeping your core engaged and your lats. And think of the movement more as if you're pushing the floor away from you instead of trying to pull the bar towards you. You need to keep your back straight and lift with the legs and not solely your back. Uh, a good tip to maintain your form is to puff your chest out throughout the movement. Um, it also helps with your back not bending throughout the lift. And you need to aim to keep the bar as close to rolling up your shins as possible. So now onto the sumo deadlift. Uh, this technique is a lot harder to perform, so start with lower weights before you start going even close to attempting your one rep max. The stance is a lot wider with a much more narrow grip, and most people have problems with the hip flexibility when performing this, so you might need to improve your flexibility before you actually start performing this movement. Uh, so you're squatting down so your legs are more or less parallel with the floor and remember to puff your chest out and keep your back straight. So the main difference with this movement is that you're lifting and driving upwards primarily with your legs and not your back in comparison to the conventional. So I guess this explains the EMG data showing the increased muscle activation in your quad muscles in particular during the sumo deadlift. So as you can see now this is me attempting the 160 kilos with the sumo deadlift. So I take a bit of time getting my stance ready making sure everything's fine and I'm not actually using lifting straps, so I need to go an over and under grip just to help and make sure I keep hold of the bar and I managed to get that up nice and easy. And now this is my first attempt of 170 kilos um, using lifting straps but I'm still choosing to go over and under which ends up messing me up a little bit. Uh, grip strength ends up going and uh, I'm absolutely fuming with that so I think you know what, I'm going to give it a couple of minutes rest and I'm going to try again because I know I can get this up. So on this one I take a little bit more time getting my position sorted make sure the lifting straps are perfectly placed and on this lift I make sure I drive up a lot more with my legs instead of actually my back but my technique is still a little bit off so I'm not really too happy with the rep but I managed to get it up and that's a new PB for me so at the end of the day I'll take that and as you can hear by my reaction I was quite happy with getting it up
Fucking hell. <laughs> so the purpose that I'm pleading for and need a more than pity. Many minuscule opinions picking up part of the immaculate, happily apathetic, and naturally authentic. The sentence is sentimental, like the words are just a piece of my soul. I trust in it to the artists that I want to be. I demonstrate my dominance, a derelict with dialect. My etiquette is excellence. I dedicate my all to this. I solemnly swear it. I serenade with selections of different cadences. It's a killer, really invested in this. And anyone that wants the truth that we present to be identified, I live a meager life. I'm motivated by progression. Cause a year ago, nobody paid attention to the getting. I'm persistent with the effort. I give my declaration dedicated to the devil. Made definitely concerned that I prefer to be a parent. I purchased all of the verses. Only way to get it off of my chest. Oh, Lord, if it's a problem, I solve it privately. Punish them off. I punish with powerful poems. Compose a dope creation. Case in point, I'm standing in proven. And I lose dream. I used to be a fetch. Now it's was just reality, I'm managing my temperament My time to capitalize is infinite The wisdom I'm attaining from trial and effort is priceless I promise myself I'm putting the music before my sanity Send you a lullaby with alliteration and empathy The lack of recognition is starting to fuel my energy You know you made it when you're receiving hate from an enemy Your relevance was never an option He's a synopsis, said I'm knocking out whoever you consider in the king I kick him off the throne, I want it, I'ma take it as my property And probably prepare to go to war with any challenge I'm battling Coliseum's people chant for me to finish it Reminiscent of the legends that left remarkable legacies I said it, I'm ahead of my time, I am You could never understand the headspace I'm in I live I'm running about it, giving a lyrical ballot, working to find out a balance, dealing with every challenge, but it's a struggle meticulously adjusting my train of thought to be positive, transformed to a phoenix. And we just trying to give you something you remember we did. This nigga don't ever. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, once again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you leave this video with a like and peace.